Anthony. Hey, Mika. How are you doing? I'm great. Are you internally screaming? I am. Why are you internally screaming, because Mika? Because I love Pokemon a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Joel here with us from the Nintendo Treehouse. Welcome, sir. Hi, guys. Uh, and we want to talk about this new and improved Pokemon tournament. It is It is new and improved. Uh, it's Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, and it is the a new a deluxe version of the Wii U version that was released last year, last year, but this one is for the Switch. And one of the great things that they've done is optimize it for Switch performance. And uh, first thing, they've added five new fighters, four Ooh. from the Japanese arcade. So we have Darkrai, Krogunk, uh, Empoleon and Scissor. And then there's also a, a new Pokemon that's exclusive to the Switch version that's Decidueye. And Decidueye was one of the oh, starter yes. Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Some other things that they've done is they've optimized it for the Switch platform. So you're able to undock it when you're playing it at home and then go on the on the road. You can play in a park bench anywhere you go. If you meet somebody else with a Switch in Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, you can battle them local wireless. Or if you just meet some friends, you can set up a tabletop mode, pop off the Joy-Cons, and then play right there. Ah, uh, put everything on the Switch. Right, just yeah. put everything, everything on the Switch. Everything on 2K the 17. Switch. It makes everything so uh, We've easier. got Daniel and Sarah from the Treehouse playing live as well, so this is not B-roll you are seeing everything live as they play. Everything is being put on the table. I'm sure there's some pink slips involved. There's some crazy <laughs> bets going on on the Definitely. side. Who's going to win? It's crazy. Hopefully Sarah will House take keys, it easy on Daniel. children. <laughs> Oh There's a lot goodness. of weird wedding rings. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. <laughs> Deeds to houses. The underground Pokémon betting uh, betting scene is like it's Out dark. Of the world. It's dark. <laughs> So tell us a little bit of, uh, about what we're seeing with Decidueye especially. Okay, well Decidueye is, is a new fighter that they added. And one of the great things about Decidueye is his aerial game is pretty awesome. He can uh, float up in the air, uh, do a lot of aerial attacks, which makes him really highly ma maneuverable and, and his high agility, which makes him hard to like pin down. Um, where Scissor here is one of the new Pokemon also. He's more of a, a straight to your face, uh, beat you up and whatnot. And one of the great things about Pokemon Tournament uh, Deluxe is that it switches between two different modes. It starts off as an arena fighter where you can roll around in 3D kind of realm and skirmish with your with your friends. And then you can switch it up into dual phase where you can actually um, go to a classic 2D fighter and, and deal it out. So you're switching, the, part of the strategy of the game is switching between the two. Um, and they've also added a new support pair. So there's support Pokemon that you can bring out, like little buddies to help you. And uh, Poplio is one of the new support and adds a special ability to you where if you use him, he gives you double jump. So Ooh. you can jump even twice uh, opposed to uh, the single jumps that usual people okay, have. So, so it's not necessarily always something like a Litten where it comes out and actually uh, is is like an assistive attack. It could be something like a passive ability. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's how you s uh, that's another layer of the onion. So the support Pokemon will either straight out attack your opponent or they'll disrupt your opponent, debuff them, their defense, their speed. It makes them easier to hit, or they will enhance your abilities too. Uh, Decidueye right here just did their synergy burst move. That's so cool! It's, it's like a, it's like a inspired from the Z moves from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Mm. Um, and it's Scissor, when he boosts up, you can see he changes and he does more like his mega evolution from Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Um, and yeah, uh, a lot of these synergy burst attacks are, are really over the top. Looks it's so good it on the does. Switch. I also yeah. do like that you brought in either the Z moves or the, you know, Ultra Pokemon. It just yeah. it, it is a callback to fans who play not just Pokemon Tournament but the other Pokemon games too. Yes, yeah, and that's one of the cool things about this is if you were a core series fan, mm -hmm. um, you can see all these moves that uh, that these characters pull off, they're like, okay, I recognize that, that hyper beam, like Mewtwo's hyper beam, right, right. or um, Pikachu does Iron Tail or Thundershock uh, or Thunder, and, and seeing those in like these brilliant 3D uh, rendered colors is, is pretty awesome. Wait, so who's who? Uh, who's who's playing as who? Of course Sarah's clean. Of course Sarah's record shop. Sarah, Sarah's come and done every demo <laughs> and just wreck shop. That's her job. She comes in and she oh, gets things up. Wow! You jinxed it! Back. You jinxed I, I it! I put too much pressure on her. I put too much pressure on her. Yeah. Anthony, why you gotta do that? I don't know. Why can't she perform under pressure? Ooh. Why is it all on me? Ooh. Why is it all on me? I wasn't holding the controller. Be kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, we love you. Don't go. 
Uh, I want to talk about some of the uh, some of the team battles that are okay. happening here. The three on three mode. Tell us yeah, a little bit yeah. about that. Three three on three is was kind of inspired from your Pokemon Party from the core series, where you you develop a team of three fighters. So you and your opponent get three fighters, and then whoever. Uh, and then you battle, you duke it out, and whoever is the last man standing or the last Pokemon standing uh, wins. And and so I battled against my my cohort, and he mopped me up with uh, with just one of his guys. He had a sliver of help left, <laughs> but went through my whole team. Oh, and so it's, it's, a, it's the worst a feeling. It worst is worst feeling. I, I I had to go back to the dojo and practice a little bit more. Yeah. Also, this is Shadow Mewtwo. Yeah, sh this is Shadow Mewtwo. He, uh, he's badass looking. I Shadow just Mew gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Mewtwo was a character that was was only unlocked with a amiibo card from the Wii U version, oh. and for the Switch version, you are able to play with them uh, right out of the box. So this is uh this is a lot like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where everything that was previously uh, an, a, an, a special unlock or an unlock that required a lot of effort, you've kind of opened that stuff up from Go? Yep, yep, and they're all available from the get-go. So um, right out of the box, you can play it. Are we going to get... Oh. Whoa. Yeah. That was... Sarah came back. <laughs> Sarah came back. <laughs> uh, Sarah giving them her, uh, the quarter's worth, as we used to say back in the arcade. Nobody days. loves Litten. Now, no. weird Why question. Nobody love Is there love more Litten. character customization that we're going to get? There, well, the character cu customization is more for your avatar, yes. so your online avatar. Yes. And um, there is partial amiibo functionality where Ooh. if you use amiibos, they'll unlock exclusive costumes for your avatar. So, and some of the the costumes that they have are kind of crazy. They're, they have graduation robes and, and a board and mortar. Um, there's there's a wetsuit and goggles <laughs> that you can wear. So, um, Is there any chance of any of that stuff transferring over to my me as well, or maybe my, <laughs> maybe my overall uh, user picture? I don't picture? think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just excited to be that trainer who shows up in a wetsuit and goggles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah. want to be known as that weird trainer. <laughs> <laughs> with all fire type. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They're just like, really mess with people's heads from Go. Oh, oh yeah. I see. She's going to be definitely like a water. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm confused. I chose the wrong Pokemon. She's going to be a roster of just Dark Mewtwo. That's it. That's yeah. all I'm going to be. And then throw in a Feather Boa just to really throw them off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. See, I like the way this guy thinks. He yeah. gets yeah. me. He gets me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I just want to get my hands on this game. It looks so much fun. So is... Oh, Mika gets to play. Mika's about to get wrecked. Uh -oh. <laughs> I guarantee you. So one of the great things about this is that it's this game is really accessible. Where uh, most of the most of the moves are a direction and a button press, right. like um, like Smash Brothers. So it's really accessible, but there are different layers to it. So and frame counting and whatnot that you can get uh, really deep into it. Mika, of course, surprising no one, chooses Pikachu Libre. And one thing about the support Pokemon is the more powerful uh, support power that they have, uh, the longer it will take to charge. Um, so there's kind of a, a game within a game where you want to start out with a fast charging support to get be able to use it right off the bat. Oh, I love Mystery Carnival. This stage is awesome. I have, so so Y and B is throw. Why? Okay, why am I throw? Y and B is your, is your throw. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> X, X and A, X and A are counters, so counters will block an attack, an incoming attack, X and, and send a. it up. All yeah. right, all right. Left button is support. Left, is left button support is support, button. all right. He's so I cute! Know, look at oh, she, because she has a heart tail, that's yeah. true. So when you're far away, you want to use the Y button, those are your weak attacks or your ranged attacks. All right. And now, now that you're in dual phase, so mix it up. All right, let's let's see, let's 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 mix it up. Oh gosh, how do I block? How do I block? Uh, oh, no. Block is the shoulder button, shoulder uh, our shoulder. Gotcha. There. Okay. Now all you're right. In it. All now right. You're now in I'm it. in it. Now I'm in it. I'm a little, okay. uh, probably not in it to win it, but. Wow, Sarah. It's really not fair to have somebody go up against Sarah their first time. <laughs> so this is That's this is I'm one saying. of the things where, and and also Darkrai no. is more of the 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 tricksy. Uh, Pokemon fighter, where yeah. he'll leave out shadow clones that you can actually attack with out there. Well, that's yeah, weird. I noticed that. I love, I love all the little things that he's leaving. That, that kind of uh, like the shadow clones and the little like the spike mm -hmm. mines and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, so I'm you have to, for you have to, to nail him down. This. So oh. in order, so do your synergy attack now. One if more? you hit, if you hit it again, left Trying and right at the, same time. at the same time. There we go. Yeah. Does the oh. synergy burst? Oh. Off the top turnbuckle. Goodness. <laughs> well done. Well, thank you for letting me win that yeah. one. <laughs> but we got to see Pikachu Libre kick some ass, and that was awesome. 
So uh, <laughs> tell us about Pokemon Tournament DX. When, 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 when you can get your hands on it. Uh, September twenty <laughs> second is when it comes out. Awesome. Um, yeah, for the Nintendo Switch. Great, and we have uh, we have more with Nintendo in just a moment. So stay right here.